Hey everyone, today you will learn what big data is and how it is related to HR analytics. Big data and HR analytics are two buzzwords that are frequently talked about. Do you really know what they mean and do you know what added value they bring to the field of HR? If not, don't worry, that's why we are here. In this video, I'll explain everything you need to know to answer these questions using different examples, so stay focused. First, let's define big data. What is it all about? In a way that is easy to remember, big data is something that can be best described in the four Vs. Variety, veracity, volume, and velocity. Now let's dive into what all these are all about. First, when we talk about big data, we talk about variety. Big data comes in all sorts of different forms. In other words, we're not only talking about nicely structured data that is ordered in neat columns and rows. We're also talking about unstructured data like the textual data in an email. Second, big data entails veracity, meaning that it can be quite messy and cannot always be trusted. Quality and accuracy are thus not always present in large data sets, which then makes data cleaning a very important step in the process of analyzing big data. Third, there's volume. Big data, as the name suggests, needs to be big, and I mean really big. That is, we're not talking about gigabytes, we are talking about terabytes and petabytes. The big in big data represents millions and millions of cells in your Excel sheet. Finally, the last V stands for velocity, which means that big data tends to be dynamic as opposed to static. That is, as things change at a very fast pace, so does the constantly collected data. Take Twitter data for example. Gigantic amounts of data represents hundreds of tweets and retweets every single second. Now, how do these relate to HR? First, HR has access to a large variety of data. Systems containing employee data, pay information, and engagement scores are all examples of structured data. Things like written performance reviews and email content, on the other hand, contain interesting information for analysis, and they are oftentimes unstructured. Second, in terms of veracity, HR data is often quite messy and unreliable. For example, data like someone's career history within the organization is often missing. The old date is simply overridden. In addition, numerous reorganizations and restructuring efforts make it hard to keep track of how long someone stayed in a function. Think about it. How do you know that someone has kept the same responsibilities when their job function title was changed two times in the last three years? Third, overall, the volume of data in HR is quite low. I haven't seen a large database with employee records exceed in a few gigabytes. This is not necessarily a bad thing. Thing. But keep in mind that for the average HR professional, a few gigabytes of data is already quite something. Fourth, the velocity of data in HR is also quite low. HR data is generally quite static, since records are only changed when someone switches functions or when different departments are shuffled. Last but not least, let's add another V to our list. HR data most definitely holds value. When leveraged appropriately, it can uncover workforce risks, makes better people decisions, and help in building a competitive advantage for the firm. Now let's have a look at examples of big data in HR. If we look at HR and natural language processing, for instance, also known as NLP, we see that most HR departments are sitting on large piles of unanalyzed written performance reviews. Yet, you can effectively use NLP to analyze these reviews and create employee competency profiles or automatically generate performance scores for both employees and managers. You can also use this too, for example, with sentiment analysis and email traffic. You can measure engagement through analysis of email messages. This may be slightly tricky to do, but you could yield very insightful people observations. Keen Corp is an example of an organization that has been doing this for the past few years. They claim to be able to predict employee engagement and attitudes in different groups by scanning email data. Now, if still not clear enough what the relationship between big data and HR is, let's put it this way. Whenever we talk about predicting employee turnover or the number of HR self-service tickets to optimize handling time, we're working with large quantities of data that help us generate new workforce insights. This means that big HR data is the input for HR analytics. That was it for today's bite. But if you're curious and interested to know more about this topic, remember to click the link in the description and to stay up to date of our daily bites, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to our channel.